So you wanna use Desmos on the digital SAT. Here's another way you can leverage Desmos for percentage of problems. These problems are pretty basic and you could probably do a lot of them in your head. However, if you wanna double check your answer, which you really should, then using something like Desmos is a great option. Now you can also use a handheld calculator, but a lot of times people don't wanna pick up the handheld calculator and type everything out. It's much quicker to maybe do it on Desmos. So for example, this problem says, what is 10% of 260? If you know how percentages work and are good in mental math, then you will know that the answer is 26. However, if you wanna double check your answer, which like I said, you always should if you have time, then just type it into Desmos. We type in 10%, it's gonna automatically put up the word of, and then you just have to type in 260. And as you can see, Desmos acts kind of like a regular calculator and it gives us the answer, which is 26. Make sure you go check out our most popular video we made about Desmos. It's gonna walk you through how to use Desmos for more complex algebra math problems. What we went over in that video is a must know for the digital SAT, and it's gonna help you increase your score, increase the probability of you getting the answer choice correct, and help you move through the test so much faster. Additionally, if you're just starting SAT prep or you feel stuck at your current score, make sure you go check out our free masterclass, which comes with a free guide as well. Link in the description down below.